What in the tectonic toddler tantrum would happen if every volcano on the Ring of Fire blew at the same damn time? Picture this, a 25,000-mile volcanic death donut wrapped around the Pacific, running through Chile, the U.S., Japan, Indonesia, New Zealand, and a bunch of vacation spots you can kiss goodbye. It's packing 450 active volcanoes and causes 90% of the earthquakes on Earth, and that's on a normal Tuesday. We're talking about the same zone that gave us Krakatoa in 1883, an eruption so loud people 3,000 miles away probably thought God kicked the planet. Now imagine all 450 of those lava pimples popping at once. First, the sky would clock out. Ash clouds would smother entire continents like Earth forgot to pay the light bill. Daylight? Nah. Welcome to permanent doom o'clock. Then comes the freezer burn. With the sun blocked, temperatures would fall faster than your ex's standards. We slam into a volcanic winter so hard crops wouldn't just fail, they file for disappearance. The atmosphere would get so clogged with ash that GPS, satellites, and communications would flatline. No Wi-Fi, no Google Maps, just you and your bad sense of direction. Global trade? Cooked. Boats, planes, and supply chains would be useless. Humanity would be out here eating expired ramen and crying in the candlelight. And the grand finale? Massive underwater eruptions would spawn tsunamis big enough to bit-slap coastlines from Tokyo to L.A. Entire cities gone like they missed the side quest. So yeah, if the Ring of Fire went full group project from hell, the Earth wouldn't just be on fire, it'd be in therapy.